Native Americans have walked the American plains for tens of thousands of years, ever since they once crossed the Bering Land Bridge many generations ago. Before the white man made its first appearance in 1492 in the Americas, the natives were free to practice their own traditions and own religions. The Native Americans had many different locations where they would practice their tradition and would let nothing stop them. They would scale mountains in order to give thanks to their gods for giving them life. Ever since the arrival of the first Europeans in the New World, the cactus known as peyote has provoked controversy, suppression, and persecution. Peyote is now a Schedule I drug, placing it among LSD, ecstasy, and heroin. First condemned by the Spanish conquerors for its satanic trickery and attacked more recently by local governments and religious groups, the plant has nevertheless continued to play a major sacramental role among the Indians of Mexico, while its use has spread to the North American tribes in the last few hundred years. The top of the cactus above ground, also referred to as the crown, consists of disc-shaped buttons that are cut from the roots and dried. The crowns contain the active ingredient of mescaline, a hallucinogen. These buttons are generally chewed or soaked in water to produce an intoxicating liquid or smoked in a ceremonial peace pipe. First-hand users say that they experience extreme hallucinogenic effects and massive perception change. From the mid-15th century, the use of peyote spread to the Great Plains area of the United States, primarily through the efforts of the Apache, Navajo, Plains tribes, and various tribes in the western United States. Peyotism is now practiced in more than 50 Native American tribes and has probably around 250,000 adherents. The ritual includes prayer, the eating of peyote, peyote songs, water rituals, and finally, contemplation. The peyote ritual is believed to allow communion with holy deities or spirits, and to give power, authority, guidance, and healing. Almost all of the Native American people have one or another attachment to the eagle and its feathers. Images of eagles and their feathers are used on many tribal logos as symbols of the Native American. To be given an eagle feather is the highest honor that can be awarded within indigenous cultures. Both the bald and golden eagle, as well as their feathers, are highly revered and considered sacred within American Indian traditions, cultures, and religion. They are honored with great care and shown the deepest respect. They represent honesty, truth, majesty, strength, courage, and wisdom. As they roam the sky, they are believed to have a special connection with God. However, according to U.S. federal law, it is strictly illegal to possess, sell, purchase, or export or import any bald eagle or golden eagle body part.
The AIRFA, also known as the American Indian Religious Freedom Act, was passed in 1978 as a joint resolution of the United States Federal Law and Congress. It was enacted to protect and preserve the traditional religious rights and cultural practices of American Indians, Eskimos, as well as Native Hawaiians. This act also states that all government agencies must not interfere with any Native American exercising their Native religion and must allow safe passage to any sacred site that was previously restricted. In simpler words, this allows Native Americans to freely use peyote as a ceremonial substance, as well as possess eagle feathers or any other eagle body part. However, if anyone, Native American or not, is found with peyote or eagle feathers and intends to use it in a non-ceremonial way, will face a jail time as well as fines. Before signing this act into law, President Jimmy Carter said, It is a fundamental right of every American, as guaranteed by the First Amendment of the Constitution, to worship as he or she pleases. This act is in no way intended to alter that guarantee or override existing laws but is designed to prevent government actions that would violate these constitutional protections. In the past, government agencies and departments have on occasion denied Native Americans access to particular sites and interfered with religious practices and customs where such use conflicted with federal regulations. In many instances, the federal officials responsible for the enforcement of these regulations were unaware of the nature of traditional native religious practices and consequently of the degree to which their agencies interfered with such practices. This legislation seeks to remedy this situation.